Very on in this series, he wants to relate that Eddie Edwards is a Zodiac murderer. How he relates that is because when Brian Hartnell and Cecilia Shepard were murdered by the Zodiac, he had on his executioner's hood, everybody has seen that picture of the Zodiac, and he had a knife in a leather sheath. During conversation with Brian Hartnell, and I said this on the Zodiac and they show that I was on, they might not have aired it, but I certainly made a point of it because I thought it was important. But during conversation with Brian Hartnell, the Zodiac said that he had escaped from Deer Lake or Deer Lodge prison in Montana. And Eddie Edwards had done time there and had been released recently. While there, just like many other prisoners, Eddie Edwards learned the skill of uh, making stuff with leather. Now Cameron makes the jump that the executioner hood was not made of leather but had great stitching and had a leather sheath. Well, hell, 99% of knife sheaths are leather. That's a big jump. Now, the Deer Lodge thing, that intrigues me, okay? Right? Big jump. I have written down here that... He had took his family to the crime scene, not the Zodiac crime scene, but the crime scene of one of the ones that he confessed to, I believe, in 1980. And he seemed to have a habit of maybe doing that. So I, I annotated that because that means something. Okay, he's going back there for whatever reason. But in this show... They keep going back to saying how Zodiac's murders were at lovers' lanes, okay? Except for Paul Stein. And because he had confessed to killing two sets of couples at lovers' lanes, that that's a link also to Zodiac. Murder mimicry is what he called it. He kept saying it. Let me tell you something. There are thousands of murders that occurred at Lover's Lanes where people were shot. Son of Sam comes to mind. Okay? So is Eddie Edwards responsible for the Son of Sam murders? Might as well throw Son of Sam on there as well, right? Just because people were shot at Lover's Lanes does not connect it to Zodiac. <sighs> he says the Zodiac composite, composite sketch matches. That Zodiac composite sketch matched 75% of America in the 50s and 60s because of those glasses. I'm here to tell you. It doesn't match him at all. Okay, but they wanted to say that. Now listen, I understand how television does things. At one point in the Zodiac show, the producer showed me a picture of... I want to say it was... Lawrence Kane at an IHOP. And... Or at least that's what I thought. That's what they told me. Okay, this is Lawrence at an IHOP. I need you to... We're going to throw some pictures on your laptop. You flip through them like you're looking for something, and that picture is going to come up. You stop there and say, holy shit, that's Lawrence Kane at an IHOP. 
I come to find out later, somebody had sent me a rude message. You know, if they had done it the right way, I would have responded. And, you know, but anyhow, saying that's not Lawrence Kane. As a matter of fact, it's so and so. I can't believe that you tried to pawn off to America that, that that's Lawrence Kane. Well, I wasn't. I was, you know, going by what the producers told me. Um, so I understand television. But I also know through television that I never said anything that I did not want to say or did not believe in. Such as the Paul Stein murders when they wanted me to take credit, wanted me and Sal to take credit for some computations that somebody else had done online that the producers found and they wanted us to act like we figured it out and I wouldn't do that. I said, absolutely not. Um, so I understand how television works and hopefully they're not making him say a lot of these things. I could tell some was scripted. When he was sitting there with a the black background and the lights in front of him, I could tell that they gave him lines to say because they did the same thing to me. Uh, you know, he made a, a big deal about these ciphers that the Zodiac were saying, how Eddie Edwards had an IQ of 132 um, and he was intelligent and he would taunt the police. And if you look at the one postcard that was sent to Paul Avery, he's telling you that it's Eddie Edwards. And the reason he's telling you that is because the number, his birth date is in the card by, by holding up, the skeleton is holding up a three. So it's showing his birth date as 6 14 33 because there's two threes because he's holding his fingers like this on the skeleton card. So that actually means 33. Get the fuck out of here. Okay? I'm just being honest. That can mean anything. People that get obsessed with cases will make anything fit. And that's exactly what he's doing. Hey, go ahead and do it. Go ahead. It's your opinion. And you're entitled to it. But I'm calling bullshit on it. Okay? Absolutely. I've seen people make the Zodiac ciphers into anything they wanted to say. I can put Kenny Maines into the Zodiac cipher. And I could convince somebody that it works. So it must be me. I must be the Zodiac. Even though I wasn't born until 1974. Okay? It's bullshit. Oh... <sighs> 